it's your girl Jazz and it's time for another Jazzy review. Today I am doing the Float Ride Run shoes. And what can I say about these? Um, they're bright. <laughs> Actually these are voted for um, the best runner's debut of this year, 2017. And so if you're, if you love to run, like my shirt says, and you're the opposite of me and actually do love to run. <laughs> Um, you probably have already, you know, kind of familiarized, familiarized yourself a little bit with these shoes. Um, let's just kind of give you a little bit of breakdown. They are um, very, very lightweight, only about eight or nine ounces. So, you know, maybe you might be able to throw them and catch them. <laughs> um, you know, they're bright colors. <laughs> just kidding. Um, they have the Float Ride Pressure Set Foam which kind of gives you that little bounce back that you need whenever you're running. Um, I don't run too often, so I'm not 100% familiar with that. <laughs> um, but I did feel it um, kind of give you like that little extra pressure or pressure, that little extra boost whenever you're running with these. Um, like I said, I'm not a huge, huge runner. Um, I do have a little bit of extra weight, on, just a little bit of extra weight on me. Um, <laughs> um, so, you know, I do need all the extra kind of help that I can get um, especially when I do, you know, run a little bit, um, I do kind of notice a lot more pressure in the ball of my foot. Um, so I really didn't feel it too much with this, um, which is, you know, obviously great. Um, it does give you, like I said, it gives you that, um, optimal, um, I'm going to read this exactly word for word. So that way, you know, what you're supposed to feel, um, is for a consistent cell structure that delivers the optimal mix of lightweight cushion and a responsive feel. Um, so, like I said, um, I do have a little bit of extra weight on me. Um, I do have a tendency of walking on the side of my foot, which I do feel when I'm working out. Uh, you know, I, and it's not just in my head because I do have, I've looked at older shoes that I've worn, you know, day in and day out. So I've seen the normal wear and tear on it and it's primarily, you know, kind of right here on the side. Um, so I do, um, I didn't feel it as much on this one. I did kind of feel, you know, the longer I did it, of course, um, the more I felt it, but you know, especially, you know, if you're not as huge of a runner and you're just more of like, you know, lightweight like me and you run maybe, you know, a minute at a time or 10 seconds at a time, which is more realistic for me. <laughs> um, you don't feel it as much. Um, these are made for those weird people that, you know, kind of are chasing after their dreams and having, you know, running for years on it. I mean, uh, marathons. <laughs> The only marathon you'll catch me doing is, is Netflix for the most part, realistically, you know, because, yeah, I won't be running for, you know, was it 100 yards, 100 miles, something like that. Somewhere over there, somewhere between there. <laughs> somewhere between there. Um, one of the things that I do absolutely love about these shoes that I've had trouble with other shoes and kind of, kind of, you know, hitting them in the back of my closet because I'm not going to wear them um, just because they are very painful. Um, I've had shoes where they're absolutely, you know, rubbing up against, I guess, heels, the heel of your foot, the Achilles heel, however you want to phrase it, the ankle, what, you know, the lower bar, the part that touches right here, however you want to phrase it. <laughs> I call it the, the Achilles heel. Um, you may call it something different, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, you've had those shoes where, you know, you can't really wear them unless you like have them, you know, your ankle bandaged up, you know, to prevent any blisters or anything like that. This was actually designed by a bra company, which I think was pretty cool. So it's very, you know, soft and padded, kind of like a bra. So if you see me running around and I am wearing those shoes and you see kind of a bra hanging out, you know why, I took their idea. <laughs> and used it as my own. <laughs> hey, that's how, I'm pretty sure that's, that's exactly what happened, how they created it. Don't judge me. <laughs> Somebody had to come up with this, so you never know what kind of crazy ideas you can come up with by doing things like that. Anyways, <laughs> uh, one thing that I, I do like about this, I'm a very, very clumsy person, probably one of the clumsiest people I know, with the exception of my my mini me, my niece. Um, she's probably inherited and multiplied my clumsiness times a billion. <laughs> so I need all the help I can get to kind of help balance me out. Um, this has a little bit of a wider heel to it, so it kind of... Um, like I said, balances you out a little bit. 
Um, there's been times where I'm actually, you know, working out and kind of, you know, rolled my ankle or something like that and um, sprained my ankle, hit, you know, whatever. Um, this kind of gave me a little bit more extra. Of course, this isn't going to be the crutch that's going to help me from falling over, unfortunately. When are you going to create these shoes, Reebok or Nike or whatever brand? That will last forever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be the only ones um, that need that extra crutch. <laughs> um, but for the most part, it does help balance you out a little bit more. Um, one thing that I do like, or um, these are um, the outsole tread right here. Um, it is engineered to ripple designs to provide consistent ground impact for smooth transition from heel to toe. <laughs> um, so pretty much kind of gives you a little extra, like I said, it helps balance you out, which is what I need. I need something to help balance me out. Um, Cause obviously my own balance is kind of off, which is probably why sometimes you see me like this or like this on video. <laughs> Um, but one of the little bit of a downside, like I said, if you're like me and you wear the same shoes over and over and over again, because you've gotten accustomed to them, um, these seem to have somewhat of a thin tread to, until you get to the foamy part right here. Um, so I wouldn't suggest wearing these every single day. You know, of course, when you're working out, I would suggest utilizing them, but, um, I'm pretty sure these may not last past a marathon or two. Um, especially if you're practicing them as well. Um, another thing that I kind of have mixed feelings about is the whole cloth part here. Um, it's very breathable. It's very thin. Well, it's thick, but it's still, like I said, breathable, so it doesn't feel as kind of you're smothered. Um, so I'm pretty sure if you have breathable socks, you're able to kind of get that cool breeze in because um, you can see, maybe not, maybe you can't see too much, but there's little breathable holes in it. Um, it is pretty, you know, kind of thick, um, kind of like some thick socks is what it kind of feels like to me. Um, but if you do wear your, these day in and day out, even if you aren't running and wearing down the tread as much from running, if you're like me and you've got a pinky toe that kind of likes to, you know, say, Hey, every now and then <laughs> I've had with other pair of shoes where, um, I've worn through, um, and gotten kind of a little peekaboo toe here. <laughs> Um, so I can see that happening, although these are a little bit thicker than those. Um, so um, it does have a little plastic lining. Um, I think it's plastic, maybe maybe slightly rubber, it's hard to tell exactly. Um, but it ends right here. And for me personally, my pinky toe comes out about maybe a quarter of an inch, a little bit lower. So Nike kind of either wrap it all the way around to help protect the toes or at least bring it down a little bit further. Um, so that way I could, I could easily see my pinky toe kind of playing peekaboo here. Again, with me personally. I've seen also people that have where they're pretty much their, um, the sides of their shoes are you know touching or almost touching, uh, which is kind of a downside with these shoes because this is gonna end up rippling up because you don't have the tongue to kind of adjust it. So that could be a small downside to it. I don't have that effect personally, you know, because I can slide on my shoe just like this and I'll be fine. Um, yeah. So, um, one other thing I would suggest Rebox is to give us ladies a little bit more colors. Um, other than, because I don't have too many outfits that I can match, you know, workout outfits at least. Okay, outfits in general <laughs> with this highlighter yellow. Um, these are the only colors that I was able to get in my size at least. Maybe the others were extremely popular and flew out the window. Um, but I'm kind of easy going as far as shoes. I don't, I'm not into 100% like I said, working out. So I'm not as picky as having, oh, I have to have, you know, the most expensive, the most cushioned because working out, I don't 100% realize that until, you know, starting to review. I'm noticing little things that I actually do need. Um, so for $150, um, that's what these shoes run. I'd give them, you know, for the first test run of these, um, I'll probably do one maybe a month or two after working out in them for a little while um, to kind of give you a true workout experience of these, um, to give you, like I said, to give you a true review. 
of how they function. This is kind of just an init initial introduction of re introductory review. I know how to sound that one. <laughs> um, and kind of give you like, you know, how they actually function outside of the initial review. Um, but like I said, I would like to see a little bit more color. Um, okay, more of a variety of colors because this obviously is a color that you can, you know, see. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure it'll be good if you work out at, you know, you know, four or five o'clock in the morning. You know, those weird people that can't sleep and they decide to wake up or you know get moving at that function. You know, function at that time. Um, pretty sure that'll give them, you know, good reflectors. At least you know be visible at least from the heel, from the ankle to the heel. <laughs> um. But, you know, that's my initial review. I'll let you know whether it is worth the $150. Uh, and, again, how long it lasts and things like that. So, until now, be sure to subscribe and like. Make sure, like, subscribe, either order, you know, subscribe, like. As long as you do both, give me the thumbs up. Let me know that you do enjoy this video. And you, um, if there's anything else that you would specifically like me to review, let me know. I'll be more than happy to. Um, once I can get my hands on it, if it's something that's like maybe a new car, you know, if I get some sponsors, hint, hint. <laughs> I'll be more than happy to review those, but can't do it right off the bat. Um, until I get more subscribers, hint, hint. Come on, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, for letting me borrow a little bit of your time and seeing the review on these Re Reebok Float Ride Run Shoes. <laughs> I don't know why that took me so long to say. In the meantime, stay jazzy.